Doctrine forms the foundation and the basis of everything we are as Christians. If you don't have your doctrine right, you're not going to be able to preach, you're not going to be able to counsel, you're not even going to be able to live the Christian life like you should. So doctrine forms this, this strong foundation upon which we build our practical Christian lives and service. So if we, if we expunge doctrine and we just want to serve Jesus without a true understanding of the gospel, uh, then we're handicapped and we're very prone to drift away into some wrong beliefs and some wrong things to, to, to do. So what doctrine does is it holds us fast like an anchor and helps us to build higher, longer, and we're able to do better for the Lord, for His kingdom. Uh, Christian doctrine right from the get-go is important. Um, some of the earliest church fights uh, and battles were about doctrine. Um, 1 Corinthians 15, uh, the doctrine of the resurrection. Uh, John, uh, 1 John, uh, 2 John, the doctrine of the incarnation. Uh, 2 Timothy, uh, the denial of the resurrection there. Uh, Galatians, uh, how are we justified by God? Uh, is it by uh, faith alone or is it by faith and works? So right from the very get-go, the New Testament gives us a very strong doctrinal foundation that there are certain key doctrines that are absolutely vital. And if you don't believe them, you're not a Christian. And so Christianity is, is, is intimately tied up with ethics and moral living, but that's not the sum and substance of it. That without that foundation of, of doctrine and faith, uh, there can be no Christianity. Uh, it was C.H. Spurgeon once said that um, uh, compared the, the coals in a fireplace to orthodoxy. If those coals aren't there, the fire of revival and piety can't fall. There's nothing to burn. And so uh, doctrine is, is, is vital. Uh, we see it in the New Testament. It's been vital all through the history of the church. Wherever the church has been strong, she's been strong doctrinally. The Bible teaches something through what it says. I need to find, and this is the pattern that Paul seems to lay out. Be devoted to the faithful teaching, that's the Bible. From that, create sound doctrine, the kinds of beliefs that create healthy Christians. And then go live the Christian life. Rebuke those who oppose healthy doctrines. And I think when we start casting the terms of finding and developing healthy Christians, are we not talking about making disciples? And isn't that what the Great Commission is all about, make disciples? I'll just tell you from personal experience, I remember a time in my early Christian walk when the word doctrine was a bad word. It's, uh, it was cold, it was lifeless, and it was dead. Uh, but, you know, that word doctrine comes from the Latin uh, that means teaching. And 2 Timothy 3.16 says, All scripture is inspired by God and is profitable for what? For teaching. And so we already have a, a scripture commandment, mandate, that we should study doctrine. And uh, the doctrine that we study is there to teach us, as that word says, and what is it teaching us? But it's teaching us the Word of God.